Winter shelter, prayer, and student mentoring. Desserts, donuts, oranges, and men eating out. You know, why am I always doing the food? I don't know, John. Why, why is that? I have no idea. <laughs> All that and more on today's CCUNC announcements. Good morning and welcome to the CCUMC announcements. I'm John Stedman. And I'm Jerry Peak. Oh, and today's verse is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. And speaking about good things, stay tuned for more information on Winter Shelter. Now here are today's announcements. We all know that a great dessert makes a good meal even better. So if you love to make desserts, then we'd love to have you join our Wednesday night dinner dessert team. Join our team of dessert makers who give every dinner a sweet finish. Sign up on your tear-off panel or call the church office for more information. On Sunday mornings, we have duck donuts, fruit, and coffee in the Family Life Center. It's a great time for fellowship, but it doesn't happen all by itself. It takes volunteers, and we need more. And if you can help on Sunday mornings, either by picking up donuts, setting up, or cleaning up, please put a note on your tear-off panel and contact the church office and volunteer. This Wednesday, the sanctuary will be open for a time of intentional prayer from 5.30 until 7, and it's a time just for you and God. There's no planned service, but there are scripture messages for guidance in your prayer time, and you are all invited to tie the ribbon on the prayer wall on the altar at any time. Come when you want and stay as long as you need. That's this Wednesday from 5.30 until 7. Hmm. It says here that an empty food pantry bag is a crime. Yeah, everybody knows that. Well, did you know that the favorite dance of the food pantry is the can-can? <laughs> So, do what you can can to keep our food pantry dancing. Fill up those bags with food and drop them off at the collection box. Hmm, I always thought their favorite dance was the box step. The Elizabeth River District Men's Ministry will hold their winter banquet on January 19th at Bay Lake United Methodist Church at 6 p.m. The cost is $12 per person, which will be collected at the door. Rolf Carawan, a Christian motivational speaker, will be the featured guest along with the Francis Asbury Band. We encourage all men in the UMC to attend this function. It is the district's only fundraising event. If you need more information, you can speak to Chris Wozlick or call the church office. CCUMC is a partner in education with Christopher Farms Elementary School, and right now they are looking for a little help with student mentoring. That's right. They're looking for anyone who can give about an hour a week to be either a lunch companion or a reading buddy. If you're interested, you can call Mrs. Nichols at Christopher Farms, or you can get more information from our own Janet Nash or the church office. The ordinary men dining out are at it again. Dining out, that is. They are planning their next dinner for Thursday, February the 11th at 6.30 at the new Surfrider restaurant on Oceana Boulevard. There is no agenda. It's just a time to get together and enjoy some good food and fellowship. All men are invited, so RSVP to Nick Moore or put a note on your tariff panel. Our week of winter shelter starts this Wednesday, and there are still ways for you to help. This is such an awesome chance to get involved with a project where you can truly be God's hands, His feet, and His heart. There are sign-up sheets being passed around, plus there are folks in the lobby who can answer any questions you may have. The last planning meeting is today after the 1115 service. So please sign up or attend the meeting because God has a part He wants you to fill. You can also be a part of this mission project by supporting it financially. Checks can be made out to CCMC with Winter Shelter in the memo. Thank you for all your support in this effort. And that's all we have for this week. Yep, we're done here. See you next week.
Well, I think it's what they call a beautiful mess, isn't it? I mean, you got life moving itself forward in a kind of unending, perpetual motion, things growing and dying, you know? Amazing. The massiveness of the ocean, the minutiae, the unseen. Any fool can see that there's just so much beauty in the science of it all. How we're all connected, all of us connected. Everyone you and I have ever known and everyone who has ever existed has lived right here made their home on Earth, on this little blue planet, just like us. Sunshine through today with seasonal temperatures. We should reach our normal high of about 82 degrees by this afternoon. And detours are in effect heading west on the Brooklyn Bridge with an earlier car accident. Treasury Department today delays. spearheaded a rally outside of the Earl Cavill the Federal Building. The, the federal government today. will shut Scientists down. Scientists have warned that the rate of warming will continue to accelerate unless we slash our emissions. We've never had any problems, really. We all get along. Americans spend more on Halloween than the entire world. Millions of children on die for an African-American men's march for family and poverty. poverty. Severe poverty. You want to lose weight? Keep it. Nuclear pie plan. Extra Eight groups with guns converged on this small East Texas or town. Or the bomb. Internally displaced. Every second. Eight million tons of plastic are dumped in the ocean it's every year. Eight million tons of plastic are dumped in the ocean every year. seeing ourselves in the light of all this frailty around us and you cannot help but be truly amazed that God the creator of the universe doesn't stay distant but comes to us he invites us it's like all the bigness of the cosmos and the smallness of our lives funnel right down 